Hey, this is OXTF, and today we're looking at Advent of Code 2022, Day 7, No Space Left on the Device. Uh, so basically, the elves are trying to run an update on their computer, and they're running this thing, and they get no space left. Um, and then we need to look we, we need to uh, look through our puzzle input, which is going to be a series of terminal commands um, to uh, figure out what the file size of various folders are, or folder size, I guess. And so it looks like there are... You can get CD, which will either be to the root of the file system, um, up a directory, or into a directory. And then we'll see LS, which will show us like directories, we'll say DIRA, that's a directory, or a file and its size. And so we need to follow this, follow these terminal commands, tracking, um, it needs, it wants to know how big a directory is. And a directory is the size of all the files in it, plus the size of the directories in it. So, um, for example, this size, this file i, it contributes to the size of directory e and directory a. Um, f contributes just to a. Oh, I guess i contributes also to slash. Um, so, um, we need to find the total size of each directory, and then we want the sum of all the directory. Let's see. Um, we want the sum of all the directories with total size one hundred thousand or less. Um, so, uh, let's jump over and take a look. Um, there's a temptation here. Just to, sure, two ways we can approach this. We could build a computer class and a file or a file system class, and maybe even like a file class and a directory class, and start to like really build up a really um, robust code base. Um, I think we can probably get away with a more simple approach here, although it might burn us in part two, or it might burn us if they bring this computer back. Um, but we'll take a look at our input here just real quickly. Um, and I did run the gen day script. I went over that's it. You can find that in the Git repo that I have up in the show notes, or I went over it in detail in the first video of this series. Um, okay, so the file input, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot more lines than before. You know, almost a th over a thousand. Um, not too much we need to fuss about, I think. So what we need to look at is basically we care about keeping track of our path where we are. And then whenever we run ls, we don't actually really care what directories are in there because if we don't visit them, we don't know anything. Um, we just care about the file size within them. So um, again, there's a temptation to break these down and say, oh, okay, so what do I do when I see a cd command? Okay, I change directory ls. Well, I got to read lines until I get to the next um, dollar sign. Um, but I think we actually don't need to do that. And so we're gonna try, we're gonna try a more dirty approach here. Um, we'll see how it goes. I must have a bug in my script there. I gotta fix that. Um, all right, so let's come here and look at what we're gonna do. Um, we'll say four line in lines. Um, and the first thing I really wanna do is break up the line into tokens. So I'll say tokens equals line dot strip. Let's make sure we remove any new, new uh, white space. And then we'll say dot split. And we'll split explicitly on space. And now we can start to think. So what are our options? Well, if uh, tokes, to tokens sub zero equals that, uh, that and tokens sub one equals CD, we gotta deal with that. Um, for now, I'm just gonna write pass. Um, we can do if tokens, Sub zero. I don't even know if we need this token sub zero, but it's kind of safe, I guess. Um, there's a chance. There's a, I could say like tokens, just looking at token sub one, but there's a chance there's a file named like dollar sign, I guess. Um, and tokens sub one equal one equals. Let's see. What else? Do, what else do we need to do? We need to do something. If we need to do something on the lines where we're changing directories, we don't need to do anything on the ls direct line. We don't need to do anything if it starts with dir. Um, so really, really, we just need to do um, if it's an integer, if, it, if the first one is an integer, um, we need to do something. Is that possibly all there is? We're going to go with it. Um, so we'll say, I guess we can explicitly say this, um, ls pass, make that an else if, um, elif. Um, so now we want to say, like, how do we say, um, I guess we can try, kind of ugly, else, try, 
int token sub zero. Uh, let's go call this like size equals int token of zero. And so if there's a si if there's a size, we want to um, add that to the path. So let's come up here. We need to define some things. Um, we'll say path equals and just make it an array where we can like add things to the end and pop them off real easily. And then we will say what else are we going to need to keep track of? Um, dir sizes equals and let's make this a default dict of with ints. And what that's going to allow us to do is from collections import default dict. Okay. So now we can say if we get that size, what we want to do is do um, let's say like for i in range len path dir sizes and now here we'll say uh, path that so that'll give us the path up so first when i is when i is zero it'll give us a thing so i guess we're going to do from one to five lines like that um so it will get back one and it'll give us the first it'll just be slash and then it'll give us the next one so i guess we want to do um like slash dot join around path like that so that's going to build us our path so if, if a path if a path has six things in it and it's going to give us the, the first one the first and the second one the first second third etc and that way we can sort of track our paths and we're going to say plus equals size we'll have to test that make sure it works and then we can just do accept um what does it have what happens when you try to python int uh value error but I'm going to try to be explicit with my uh, errors here because what you don't want is some other error to come up and then you get masked by the fact anytime you do accept pass, it can be really, really dicey. So you don't want to, you don't want to do that too often. Okay. Um, is it possible we're done? Let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I know I, if we're going for speed here, we would tr give this a try and see what comes out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the test, the example puzzle input here and put this in um, add file yeah. and we are going to try that first so we'll do python minus i day seven example dot text okay we got something let's see there's there sizes that did not work um, empty So what do we do wrong here? Um, are we reaching here? Print tokens. Okay, so we are reaching here. Oh, try that. Uh, Dir sizes. Oh, still not adding. Oh, because we're not updating the path. <laughs> that would help. So we're never we're never updating. Now, um, if length of path is always zero, it's just never even going to get in here. So we never even set the path. Okay, so let's come back up here. So we get a CD. We have we have multiple things we have to deal with. Um, if tokens sub two equals slash path equals slash. Elif tokens sub two equals the end there um if it equals dot dot we're going to do path dot pop just remove remove an item else path dot uh shoot i always forget this let's see um if i have x equals one two three if i do x dot append four does that what i want yeah okay so we'll do path dot append and now we'll do tokens now we're in better shape. Let's give that a try. Um, their sizes. So we only got to that and A. I wonder if we need. Let's 
this out. Point. Um, let's We're never getting uh, the last version. So let's see. Um, the length of path is three. We then are getting path at two. Just that. So we really need to do I plus one here. And maybe we can then start at zero. That's looking better. That's looking better. Yeah, yeah. Their sizes. Still not getting that. Oh, because we need. Let's see. We want we want path. From I I incremented my plus and not my. Let's see now we're adding to. That looks better. So now we've got. This folder where it is. Uh root we have a we have a e and we have d does that sound about right Let's go to folders here root a e a e and d four directories root a e a e and d sweet all right so now we want to say now we've got our things covered. so we can do part one here so we'll say um four uh B sub S in uh, what is it? What I call it? Server sizes dot values. Um, we will say we just really want S for. I guess we don't really care about the D, so we just we can get rid of um, yeah. So that's sorry. Values only returns one anyway. So. Um, values will return us the sizes, so we can do s for s in in that. If s is less than or equal to one hundred thousand, and we can do part well, part one equals sum of that. We can use it. We don't need these things, so that might be right. Um, try that. Uh, nine five four three seven. Well, I'm on the example, so that's good. We can check it. Um, nine five four three seven. Sweet. Um, let's get rid of the minus i here. Get rid of the dash, and we can do input dot text. We probably don't need all those prints, but we'll grab this Come over here, and we'll paste. And we got it. Sweet. All right. Uh, part two. Um file system is that big we need this much space how much we need to find a directory that will free up enough space we need the smallest one that will okay so we need the smallest directory that will give us enough space to continue um let's make sure we move prints here we don't need these we need these um so we need to find, let's see, disk size equals, let's look at these numbers, um, that big, uh, need equals that big. So need to free equals uh, server sizes of root. That their sizes of root. How big we have total? So we're going to have um, disk size minus that. That's how much we have free now. So I guess we'll do need minus. Okay. So this will tell us how much we have free. This is how much more. How much more we need to free. All right. Let's run that. Um, let's see if that makes any sense. So we need to free one uh, one hundred seventy one million seven hundred thirty-five thousand. That could be right. Okay. Um, what is um, 
other sizes of that. Yeah, so we only have we already have a bunch free. So okay, so I think we're that's probably right. So the question will now be, what's the smallest one that's bigger than that? And so we can do let's do the same thing here. We do um, s for s in their size their sizes dot values if s is greater than or equal to need to free and we can do sorted and that'll give us the we don't really need those and that'll give us them in order and then we can just do zero see if that works all right we got it um so all i did here was so we have a, we have the full disk size. We know we need this much. We can calculate how much is how much we currently have full to basically get how much do we need to free. Then we can take our this is our, we're just going to loop over all of our sizes, but we're only going to include ones that are bigger than need to be free. Then we're going to sort it so that it goes smallest first, biggest first, and we're going to get the smallest one by picking that. Um, we could also do I bet we could do um, min. Probably actually better. So that's better. Yeah, that's better. Rather than sorting and picking the lowest, we can just pick minimum. So we get the minimum out of that, um, and potentially Python will optimize on that. Um, anyway, um, that's that's day uh, seven. We went with kind of a dirty solution rather than like building out a robust solution. If this computer comes back in a future day, um, I may regret that not having the base there. But um, for today, we got what we needed. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.